Welcome to Gate Depot's installation video library. This video illustrates the installation of a cut-in vehicle loop. This type of loop can be installed in concrete or asphalt. You can use a standard circular saw with an eighth inch wide diamond blade. Start by finding the center of the driveway. Mark the end of the loop off of the center mark. It would be three feet from the center if your loop is six feet long. For driveways 12 to 14 feet wide, use a six foot by four foot loop. Driveways that are 16 to 18 feet wide, use an eight foot by four foot loop. Measure the width of the loop. It is typically four feet. Use a square to mark the sides. Commonly, safety loops are kept three feet away from the gate. Most loops are six to 10 feet across and four feet wide. If the loop width exceeds four feet, it should be kept four feet away from the gate. Set the diamond blade depth to one inch. Make your cuts. You can use the saw motor's fan to blow off the dust to see the line better. Start your corner cuts with the blade centered over the slot. Make an extra cut by the lead-off slot that goes to the edge of the road for the wire return. Set the blade to full depth for where the slot runs off the road and cut the last few inches deeper. Broom the dust to the side. Do not sweep the dust away. You will use it later. Clean the slot of any small debris. For the safety loop, measure off enough wire to get from the operator to the loop. Place a wedge in the slot to hold the wire in place. Measure out enough wire for one turn at a time. There are typically three turns to most vehicle loops. Two safety loops can be connected to one loop detector. The loops must be connected in series. Use a dull edge tool to lay the wire in the slot. Do not use ordinary wire. Loop wire has an XLPE insulation that resists moisture, petroleum products, and alkaline substances which are found in asphalt and concrete. On the third turn, the wire will be directed through the extra crossover slot that was cut earlier in the leadoff slot. Pull both leads parallel to each other. Cut the wire evenly with each other and use an electric drill to twist the leads. Use Q-Seal loop sealant to seal the wires. Bring half-inch conduit to the edge of the road. Pull the wire to the operator pad. Seal the conduit end with asphalt cement or Q-seal. Sweep dust onto the sealant. This will make the sealant blend and prevent the sealant from getting on your shoes and making a mess. Pour concrete over the conduit inlet. That was how a safety loop is terminated. Next we will show how an exit loop is terminated using wire nuts and alternately using a soldered connection. Twist the shorter leads from the loop. Thread the wires into a PVC LB junction box. Use Q-Seal or asphalt caulking to seal the conduit end. 
strip about three quarters of an inch of wire. The wire leading back to the operator should be high quality, such as Belden 8461 jacketed and twisted cable. Screw on grease filled waterproof wire nuts. Stuff the wires in the box and cover. Soldering the loop wire is the preferred way to do it. Strip back 3 quarters to 1 inch of insulation. This type of splice is called a Western Union splice. Solder the wires. Apply the first layer of high quality tape, such as 3M number 33 vinyl tape. Coat the tape in at least a quarter inch of the insulation with liquid tape. Wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry. Apply a second layer of tape. Apply a second coat of liquid tape. Wait for it to dry. Stuff the wires into the LB junction box. Cover the LB junction with concrete and smooth over. I hope this video has been useful to you. You can find most of the materials seen in the video at gatedepot.com.